just loaded in 1.58 I'm off the ground now and player height does move me back down but it doesn't move this um, so I'm just gonna leave it the way I had it and I'm assuming at some point this will get corrected whatever this is um, that obviously makes sense but I wouldn't do the blinking um, you could just make it red and then it's green or something but yeah blinking is just it's never necessarily yeah, it's just generally not a good thing to do uh, when designing UI uh, because it, it gives the feeling it's slightly irritating when you see it you're like go away like you just almost want to press it just that to make it, is ready. make it stop blinking which is uh, not what you wanted nice nice Defender, ready to protect. Locked hero defender. Unlock. Huh. <clears throat> I guess that's what I would do. I would make it red, highlight it as green, and then blue when it's selected. Um, I maybe. Blue is everywhere else. Blue is in, you know, what do you have here? Yellow selecting. Blue, blue is there. Blue is like to say go. So you don't, you have blue everywhere else, so that would be inconsistent. So then, yeah, I guess this should be blue. This should be red. Wait, sorry. Yeah, I'm locked. Yeah, locked hero defender. This should be red saying like, because it's different, right? Everything else is blue, 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 blue as like the default. Green is highlighting, so that's consistent. Yeah, I would make this red. When I've selected my guy, red, like it's locked in, it's red. And the default blue uh, for lock hero. Because that feeds in everything else. Every other one of these buttons are blue. And you know that just right off the bat, when I select all these are buttons, I can push and it does stuff. So this button should be no different when it's blue. You go, oh, what does this button do? Oh, locked hero. Oh, cool, okay. And it'll be red, to, just an extra thing to show. Red, you're locked in. Mm, just minor feedback. <clears throat> oh, we're now I'm on the ground. Huh. Oh, there's a bug. Definitely don't want that in there. What does that do? Where's my bots? Do they get bots? Nope. All heroes are gone. Everything is gone. I'm... Well, that's one way to fix performance. <laughs> Artillery, show me the target. Now I'm off the ground again. So Welcome can... back, Zero G. Whatever. I'll try to do the exact same thing again. Maybe button pressing and all that. Whatever. What if I just. Ready. Defender, ready to protect. That check shouldn't have anything to do with anything. All right, so I'll try it without pressing it. And I'm not gonna press that. Full on busted. Well, let me try one more thing actually. One more combination of things. Artillery, show me the target. I'll try it where I Welcome do. back, press Zero lock. G. Although that shouldn't make much of a difference. Oh. 
Also note, it'd be nice too if when you click this, it did a timer of like 15, 10 seconds. Just so if people weren't ready up and you were starting the match, they at least knew like, oh gosh, I only got 10 more seconds. Quick, 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 pick a hero. Um, that would help solve a lot of problems too. Defender, ready to protect. All right, so I'm gonna lock it here. So everyone's green, normal. Still not gonna press in there. And that'll be, yeah. So I locked and pressed it. I've locked and not pressed it. I have not locked and not pressed it. No heroes, no bots. All right.